gates. Here we are, the welding place. I think that's his house there. This is the uh, welder? Yeah. It's just these holes here. Are you sure you can weld? Bye bye. I've left the van with Nigel. He seems excited about doing it, which is good. I just got the van back. two types of insulation, thermal bubble foil and then fibre wool. This will form the bathroom enclosure. I'm rebuilding the whole shower and I'm using my book to help me. <laughs> the structure for the bathroom is basically just made of these vertical studs. You want a perfect snug fit. It's cutting out here. Take that out. Be about here. And then the kitchen goes back in, the bed goes back in. Reassuring. Click. Solid. Solid. The shower head is like an eco shower head, so it's meant to save water. It's also adjustable here. Oh, and there's a light. Also, there's a nice window. It's nice to have a shower and look out the window. It's all coming together. The kitchen's gonna go back, the utility cupboard's gonna go back, the sofa bed's gonna go back, and then the office is gonna go back. What a crazy journey. <laughs>
be able to flick the lever of the tap and water comes out. Everything's automatic. The utility cupboard. It's sort of the space in between the bathroom and the kitchen. It's got some shelves in, it's got the fridge in. Everything should line up to the fraction of a millimeter. This heats water for the kitchen hot tap and also the shower. The mixer tap fully works. It takes about less than 10 seconds. It's already warm. You see it ignites. I turn the tap off and it goes off. Look at this. Getting there now. We just need to put the bed there and the office there and connect a few things up. Put the spices back. Here it is, this is the lid for the bed. It attaches to here with three hinges. And then make a cup of tea. My whole life is wired. I found the solar controller. I've not seen that in ages. What does that wire do? These go to the back. That one powers the heater, that one powers the mains power at the back, the USB charging, and the lamp. need to put the chest of drawers in. They're on nice strong catches, not gonna fall out whilst driving. Yeah, going to bed. Too tired. Cool, over here. Uh, a stick of five amp in there, and then that lamp should come on. Yes, got power, nice power. Heating. Potter. Nice. usually enjoys it here but when I drive and the plant falls on the floor I can't get back up again I think that's good I try to make things fit together well it's the small details um, that add so much I think to make sure that you've got perfect right angles and perfect straight edges does it fit no, it doesn't. I don't like
like to see things unfinished. I've uh, reinstalled the ivy. This one is for the cab divide. This is like a decorative throw for the sofa. This is the main cover for the sofa, the main throw. And this is the rug for the floor. I've got my home, I've got my home back and I'm absolutely exhausted. Now I just need to put everything away. How many pairs of jeans did it take to rebuild the whole van? Two, one pair, wrecked. Two pair, wrecked. The third pair of jeans are the ones I've got on. If I do have to do any more work on the van, I've got one more, luckily I've got one more pair of jeans. But after that, I have no idea. This is back, this is back, this is back. Everything's back, these are back, these are back. These, the drawers, the lamp, and I've got a new plant. This is back, this is back. My desk is back. Shelves, everything back. Everything. <sighs> Everything's back. That's good. It's good, it's good, it's good. Feels good to have the van back. Thank you. <laughs> really good to be back in the van and to be back in in my favorite spot called nature you can hear the birds you can hear the sounds smell the smells you see the sky at night if you want to convert a van into your home i don't mean a van conversion that's like a typical van conversion i mean a conversion that looks like a home and feels like your home and a van home that's equipped with everything that you need to live anywhere you want off grid for as long as you want have a look at my ebook like everything's in there it's like a complete complete guide i've now updated it for 2021 and it's even better check it out i'll put the link somewhere big thank you if you've already bought that book over the years i mean it's I released it in 2015 and it's amazing to see that it's helped thousands of people all over the world as an owl i know it's a pigeon you got to go slow and steady. Whoa.